Hey guys, so this is going to be part two of my um, Sharpie art, Sharpie and alcohol on canvas art. Um, so I have a new, another canvas panel and this time I'm going to test the Sharpies with 91% alcohol. So I did actually pick this up. Um, so it's stronger than the 70% that I tried last time. Um, so we'll see if this makes a difference. And I did put some of this alcohol in the contain in the spray bottles. So I will try the spray method. So basically, let's get started. So again, I'm just going to randomly draw on the canvas, randomly color. I just want to see if this blends better than the other version did. Like, see if I can get a better galaxy type print. Okay, here's just a speed up of coloring in with the Sharpies, just making little um, random scribbles with them to fill up the canvas. Um, a lot of my colors are from my Galaxy type of set um, when I made my Galaxy shoes, which that is a fun craft. <laughs> Okay, so here's our canvas. Um, and now for the fun part of taking the alcohol and spraying it to see what it does. So. Ooh, this one already, you can see that it is actually... <coughs> oh, that's some nasty alcohol. Oh, it actually is saturating and spreading more than the other one did, so... You can... It kind of turns into its own little, like, Sharpie alcohol pour painting, which is interesting. You saturate it enough. Look at the colors. The silver didn't quite go as much as I wanted it to, but... And while the canvas is drying, I also just grabbed some watercolor paper so that I can try it on here, too. Okay, and now I am doing pretty much the same thing on the watercolor paper um, that I am using, just scribbling lines. Um, it's basically the easiest design to do. You can also do dots or circles or just, you know, any fun design you want to try. Um, I just chose something random. And let's not mind the fact that the alcohol sharpie colors um, have bled onto my hands, making them all very colorful as well. <laughs> that is probably a sign of, you know, an arts and crafts person is when your hands are always like colorful with art supplies, with like paints, markers, uh, you know, colored glue, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, pretty much. Okay, here's our watercolor paper. Now we can try. Ooh. 
still doesn't really seem to blend as well on the watercolor paper. Um, it's getting like... It doesn't blend as much. So it's still very striped. <coughs> so, I mean it's starting to get a little bit. And perhaps if I take some tissues, well, that doesn't really do much, does it? So it just kind of like lightens it up a bit, but yeah, it doesn't really do much. I think the alcohol just soaks into the paper too quickly. doesn't do too much. It still does go through to the back, which the other one did too, and creates little like dots, which are interesting in little stripes. So the watercolor paper is still kind of a fail, because um, it still doesn't really change it, but the canvas actually came out very much more tie-dyed this time than it did with the other one with the 70% so you can definitely use the 91% rubbing alcohol and sharpies on canvas and if you had a paintbrush you could probably even have like kind of manipulated it that way too like a watercolor um, so that is good to know, and it can definitely still be used to like make a design or something, um, like you can always write a quote on it. like dream big so and then if you have other paint or markers that you want to decorate so you can always decorate it with like other kinds of paint or markers or really anything if you want to get crafty and use some glue and sequins or something or ribbon you can always decorate a border um, basically anything you want to do like with the silver I could always kind of go make a little wavy
water over here. Just to kind of add to it. Something a little simple. And it's just fun to do. Fun little crafts. Um, I know that I still need work on my hand lettering and everything and but oh well it's cute I think it came out really nicely it's definitely something you can give as a gift you can if you want to add some sort of varnish or sealant over it you can do that um, and then even with the watercolor paper you know, if it didn't come out as much as I would like you know you can still turn that into like a little sign or something too whatever you want to do um, it's all good so thank you uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think if you would try this yourself um, and again if you've tried using sharpies and rubbing alcohol um, on other types of surfaces or for other projects what have you done because um, I've made the shoes I made galaxy shoes um, a couple of years ago so and that was fun and there are like so many different projects you can do so bye